Um, for this audience in, in particular, I would I would caution against looking at the number of um, gigawatts in in development and translating that into delivery because unless the, the supply chain challenges can be addressed, then that simply will not be sustainable in the timeline in which we have to, to do so. Um, on, a, on a very positive note, um, given the, the deep um, oil and gas expertise across the, the North Seas, that's clearly um, an advantage that, that we have that can be then you, you know, using that skill set to, to commercialize floating offshore wind. There's a very deep a pool of, of skill sets that are there and that are, are completely um, aligned with regard to what is required to, to develop out floating offshore wind. So I believe with the, the alignment between um, energy, industrial, trade and financial policies, they can be unlocked and enable the commercialization of floating offshore wind.